I was lucky enough to catch up for a coffee with Hollywood royalty, Margie Haber. Now, she was here on an acting coach tour of Australia and New Zealand. She spilt the beans on some of her Hollywood actors. I'm a guru. Is that on your business card? It says Margie Haber Guru. Okay. I'm a, I've been doing this for a long time, and there are maybe five very well-known acting gurus in the United States. There's blah, 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 and me, right? And I'm very different than the rest of them because they teach scene study and they teach theater, which is great, nothing wrong with that. But I teach something very different. I teach on camera intimacy. I teach acting, but I don't believe in that word anymore. You don't believe See, in the word? The word acting, no. Because to me, acting means showing. To me, acting means performing. And if you perform, then you're, you're, play, you know, you're playing at it. So I kind of change that word. I kind of teach people to live a life. You've worked with some New Zealand actresses too, uh -huh. haven't you? Bonnie Soper, who I love, and Lee Donahue, who is a hot guy, and uh, Brie. Brie Peters. Whose father, I think you know, or something. Winston Peters. He's Winston. a politician. He's a I know. He's a big macha, as we say in Jewish. Yes. What I find about the actress from New Zealand and the actress from Australia is there's something very special about them. And it's been, it's seriously, I think I was either an Australian or a Kiwi uh, in my last life, because they just come suck me up. They come to LA all the time. Melrose Place, tell me about that. It used to be one of my favorite TV shows. Who did you work with on that? Oh, everybody. Heather Locklear used to sit in the corner of my room with a sweatshirt on top of her, saying, please don't call on me because she'd be so nervous. Then she'd come up and she would just be divine. And I worked with Heather during Dynasty at Melrose Place, and it was great because I'd have to do these sex scenes with her, which is very interesting because, you know, what are you going to do? So how, what do you do? I'll just, you, what do you do? Well, there's different depends upon whether you're shooting it or whether you're doing it for an audition. You know, Rick Springfield, right? Jesse's yes, girl. girl. <laughs> the singers are among us. <laughs> so uh, he came to me and Rick Springfield to audition for Californication. When he's up on stage, he goes, bang, bang. he's so full of life. And then when he's sitting in the chair, he's like this. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's all over the place, you know? And because he's worried about himself. And he had to have sex, but you can't touch a woman because she's a casting director, so you can't get near them. So how do you have sex with somebody who's not with you? So what do you do? You want me to answer that question? Yeah. Right? All right. You turn your chair around, right? And you get, and you get it from the person, and you receive it, rather than going, you receive it, and they loved it, and he booked Californication, and then I had to teach him how to have sex for eight weeks. <laughs> and it was quite an interesting thing for me, I'll tell you right now. What I a love terrible it. job. I'm sure you guys love it too, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna flip through and find some more Isn't people to talk about. Called, this is what you do when you're kids, you know, you find little book stories and you read them. Exactly. Halle Berry, mm. she is one beautiful oh, woman. Oh my God. Well, let me say, she did a movie, maybe about three or four years ago, and went to the premiere of it. And afterwards, I went over to her and I said, I, I haven't seen her in a long time. I said, Hallie, it's Margie Haber. You think that I was a star. Oh, Margie, oh my God, it's so good to see you. And she rubbed her cocoa butter face against my face. That's why I look good at my age, by the way. <laughs> because when she rubbed it, I stayed young. What a fascinating job you have. I do, I love my job. You know why I love my job? Why? It changed people's lives. Every day, I'm blessed. I've been doing this for 473 years, and I am better today than I ever was, and I'm happier today than I ever was, because I get to talk to people like you, who look very happy anyway, and, and be able to say, listen, you know, you are more powerful than you think you are. Go forward and risk to be seen and embrace your imperfections, and mistakes are your friends. Oh, you had a little therapy session I at the did. end there, didn't you? I embraced my imperfections, mm -hmm. and she was hilarious. She had some great, great stories.